Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. Back again, not fully ahead, but I am one video ahead now, which is pretty cool. Probably just gonna not record two videos today, which is fine with me. Um, what day? At the end of the month, I've been meaning to mention I'll be going out of town, like about a week and a half from now, two weeks from now, somewhere around there. So you'll have all the videos recorded. I just, oh man, so I gotta record 14 videos for the time I'm gone. Oh boy. Well, I suffered through Magical earlier today, so we're just going to play regular basic. I've earned a little time off. And, man, two really free curses. Never see Monster Pristine, but I think third turn Boar has to be the easiest curse that I've been offered so far. Boars are not very threatening, and third turn Boar is even less so. So, I think this one should be pretty alright. But, we'll see. There's always time for disaster. Once I finish this streak, I am going to shift into Unfair, I think. And I might... I don't know if I'm going to keep doing two Slice and Dice videos a day. I'm hoping that uh, this streak goes for, like, another month or two, maybe. It's probably a little hopeful, but, you know. I'm hoping we got a nice long, long time ahead of us. And then I'll go run some Unfair, and hopefully by then we'll have some new Wild Frost content to play. Although, in... I guess it's not going to make sense to do it in, like, a Let's Play format, but there is Frostpunk 2 coming up, which I'm looking forward to as well. I cleared all of Frostpunk 1, but I was very late to that game. Uh, the I, I didn't stream when Frostpunk came out. I, I had not been... Uh, streaming. I actually had I played Frostpunk when it came out, and I didn't like it, and I refunded it. And then I picked it up on sale a little while later, and I went, man, this game's sick. I don't know why I didn't like this originally. It was a weird turnaround, for sure. I was surprised that I liked this so much, because I didn't like it the first time. I wouldn't say I hated it, I just, like, I was not into it. The cut here is wasted. Or sorry, yeah, now the cut is not wasted. But I still have to shield beef here. It's all good. You notice, by the way, that my timer is, like, hidden? Hold on, can I fix that? Show timer. There you go. That was weird. I wonder why that happened. I don't remember when it happened. You know, I think it happened when I scaled up the UI, actually. Lord World, I think Bard's okay. He's, like... He's less good when we already have something like Priestess, because we're not getting as many X's, but he's alright. I think that the Shield 1 cleanse is rather nice. I also just kind of like, look, we had our fun with Whirl, but I think it's time that we all face the music. He's not very good. I'm sorry that you have to find out this way. One to all, probably not all that good here. There are times where it is good, but it just doesn't matter in a fight like this. However, uh, of note here, I am probably going to see a boar. I don't know if there's anything I can do about one boar here. Cut, you're on seven, right? Yeah, okay. I do not have lethal, even if I go, like, roll priestess for cut burst burst. Because I could roll for one mana. I cannot escape. It's him. He's here. Thank you. I talked and I talked, and now it's time to face the music. The boar is here. Alright, and the boar is no longer here. He's still here, but he's gonna leave now. Bye-bye. Whoa, he's not leaving! Five, six, seven, eight, you're right! I only have eight health. Oh, he fought. He, he went for it. He said, I got this. Uh, Burning Blade, I think, is kind of mid. I don't really care for it. The minus two max HP is tough for a single side. I actually like taking Quicksilver. Uh, especially with Bard, we're going to have a lot of random shields that are wasted. And we can let Bard, uh, with his one plus the Quicksilver, save a little bit of shielding here and there. Kind of nice. Although, they all targeted fighters, so not quite here. Mostly, though, this is like, if I see Scrapper now, the game is much better. And I think that the other item was not very good. 
This is four damage, so I actually should roll, I should lock these two, and I should roll for one mana or two damage from Thief here. Okay, you know, oh wait, I have another roll. Okay, uh, we did our best. That's what you gotta remember at the end of the day. We tried. The boar is here. I did what I could to stop him. Sometimes we just miss. That's the thief special. I'm kinda over my thief hatred, I gotta say. If you remember in 2.0, I was a huge, huge hater of this character. I did not like having to play thief. But there's a new bitch in town. There's a, there's a new bastard that I'm sad to play. Uh, and Scoundrel got worse, I think, in the early game as well, because there's less targets that you want to hit down with Vulnerable. So now, I'm pretty happy with Thief, because I think there are two much worse options. Talk shit about Scoundrel and Whirl, and look at this fight, am I right, fellas? Uh, I will play... I will play Berserker here, because Priestess means that I'm probably not going to be playing towards a... Uh, we can go Shield Berserker here. Priestess means I'm probably not playing towards like a Sparky or a Caldera here. I mean, I could play Sparky Priestess, actually. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, it's just unlikely, I suppose, is the best way to put it. I should have rolled Berserker for Cleave. This feels silly, but oh well. We're gonna stop the illusions here. That'll be fine. But yeah, we're not going to play for uh, big mana gain in the mid game. I mean, to be honest with you, the more that I play, the more that I realize that the only characters that really need you to play for big mana gain for them are Caldera, because his spell is expensive, and the bad one, Evoker. Everyone else is kind of like, fine. I don't really care too much, to be honest. There's a boar coming. It's okay. We can't make Militia run with Bard Priestess, so this fight's always gonna go forever. 4 plus 2, 4... Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see. Now I'm, I'm thinking. Uh, it would have to be... Heal here... Or to... I think I'm praying here. Berserker Cultist, and we have no good healing. We have Priestess, but she's not really healing. She's just, like, extending your HP. Everyone looks so dead. Good job, Bard. Um, sure, we got it. Golden Cup. We have no healing. I feel like this item is good if you have healing. But it's also nice to play. Uh, uh, Viscera is whatever, basically, is my thought. So it's nice to pick Golden Cup for the uh, second heart out. But I wonder how important that really is, you know? Like, maybe I just take two twos here instead. Leather gloves, golden thread? Sure. I think that's okay. Uh... We'll see, I suppose. Those have the potential to be very good, though. Uh, four, three. And Berserker might have been wrong, is my hindsight for you here. As I think about this run in post, I will probably consider that I might have been wrong to play Berserker. Because he's just kind of like... I don't know, it's, it's hard to keep up with his damage with Bard plus Priestess, you know? His self-damage, that is, not his enemy damage. His, his enemy damage is fine, but like... These fights are going long, and Priestess has other shit to do than triage my fucking idiot. So I don't know, it's like, it's kind of spooky, isn't it? I thought he'd be good because of all the damage output, but... Mm, I suppose not. I'm thinking about prayer here, but I think it's probably just gonna be like... Cut... I can do three, two, two, which is not enough, so it's three prey. And if I end up having to pray, that means I should pray at the start uh, when everyone's dying so that everyone gets the value. Well, not quite everyone, but you know, most of us are dying here. And then it's two, two, or I could, 
cut. Although I don't really want to cut here. Cut burst is putting him to two. I'm good to just end. I think you're not supposed to be trading HP away anymore. I'm already trading so much HP away on this on this team comp. I don't need to trade anymore. Because the once I get rid of Cultist and get an actual character here, I think I will have an easier time as well. Uh, Cultist is good, but he's also... Oh boy, that was ugly. He's good, but he's also, like, super de demanding of my health. And so is Berserker. So we just end up kind of like... Oh, man. I'm out of health. Priestess can only give me four, and I'm spending, like... At, on the best turn I can have, I'm spending 11 HP. Which is, uh... Quite a bit, I must say. Rogue Maiko. Uh, Maiko isn't terrible, but I think it's Rogue for the DPS. So, oh, someone said I should try st uh, leather, not leather boots, lead boots on Rogue sometime. I'll keep an eye out for that. I uh, know no lead boots here, obviously, but something someone suggested because it sounds kind of nice. Might not be so bad. Uh, we can go four. There's no way I'm leaving four damage on the table. Ideally, I just kill Slime Queen next turn. Four, four, two. Yeah, I'm definitely killing her. Unless Cultist just completely whiffs here. <laughs> uh, scary. But it's okay. Uh, the boar will happen again, and I don't really care. We save mana, we pray. If we're all dying, we cut, we do whatever. Okay, here it is. Uh, if I So my ideal turn here is 4 damage from Berserker, four, 4 mana from Cultist, and then cut. That's 11 HP spent. Hard to swing, though. So it's going to have to be like... Four burst burst, I guess, but that's the wrong one to kill. Uh, four burst burst, yeah, okay. It's, it's a shame that I can't get better prey value. I think I should roll. I locked this dodge. I should roll it down because I'm going to have to prey anyway. Okay, very funny. Aha. Uh -huh. An X would have been nice too for an else, but whatever. <laughs> And I end up not praying with this line, which is fine. I think uh, burst over prey is okay, because I'm probably going to get better prey value on a future turn like this one even. I need to keep rolling Priestess for four, though. That's the big, big win about Priestess, is that you can always roll for her four. That's definitely why I think this character is good. Because her four is like, her, her four vitality is a game winning hit, for sure. That shit's real good. I'd like to stop the second boar from popping in here. But I'm not going to trade cult this life. I don't lose the game to boars. I'm just like sick of fighting them. Like look at this guy. He's hitting me for four. Are you scared of this? Just pray we don't fight a lich because that's going to be real painful. Bring him in. Come on, buddy. Another boar. They're, they're just very unserious enemies. He pulls up, he hits a four. This is like fighting a shitty militia. I mean, I guess he's a little bit better than militia because he has the stone HP and doesn't run. But militia... You know, it is basically a militia, actually, isn't it? Just thinking about it, because, like, it's, uh... 7 HP, 4 damage per turn, sometimes the four is split. I will accept the combine here. Simplicity? Hmm. Tiara is really good. I don't really care for Obol that much. Definitely Tiara. Um, Simplicity is dead, but none of my items before were any good. So, Tiara is super, super nice because now my cultist isn't such a problem. Rogue, this would be a great time for you to roll a dodge. Wow. Fucking locked in. You know what? Acceptable. I will save you. I think uh, 
<laughs> trying to kill the grave here is a little bit too greedy, even for me. Even for me, it's a little much. Oh man, this cultist guy. Holy. With the mana, with the tiara, suddenly he's the goat. And now he's gone. How sad. But it's okay. Um, tiara sets us up for some really cool combos, though. Particularly with botany. We could go group growth sorcerer would be the ideal. That's the dream. Uh, of these two options, I think I actually go Glacia. It's not too often that I pick Glacia, but I mean, she's pretty strong here. Nice defensive option, holds simplicity well. Lots to like. Remember, I don't have to lock the two anymore. I can roll for three, because two is the worst. I guess technically the one shield might be a little worse. I'll lock the two, it's fine. What do you think here? I think I cannot make any militia run. So I probably just start killing things. Pro probably I should go like spread damage here actually, because we're going to be in this fight a while. Mm. Okay, I think it's okay. Trying to maximize my damage output, get the poison value and such. It feels like it's an okay idea. We'll see if it bites me. Yeah, I actually hit the cleave. I was thinking I would hit a cantrip into those bones, but a cleave is also good. And then... And I could go like one here burst here. Trying to not spend... Do I need to burst there? No, I don't need to burst there, sorry. I could go one here, one on the bones, and then just cantrip. Yeah. Here comes the boar. I should be afraid at this stage. I should absolutely be concerned here. So let's figure it out. I think I am going to lock the one cleave because it kills this militia which saves Berserker. Poison isn't ideal. Okay, interesting. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Definitely lock the cruel. I think roll the rest. I want like a three mana, but what if you whiff? I guess it's fine. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, we want to kill bottom bones or boar. Can I kill boar? I don't think I can kill boar, but I can shield priestess, kill bottom bones. And then I could... I think it's one damage here, burst, and pray is the idea. I mean, pray this whiz doesn't do anything terrifying here. Okay, that's fine. I laughed at the boar, and now look at me, I'm getting laughed at. Oh, thank you. Little three heal for me. How exciting. Music feels a little loud, doesn't it? I'm gonna turn it down. I feel like it's a it's the constant battle of every video I do these days. Hey, did the music get louder? Hmm. I better turn it down. You're on two. Hold on. Two. Not quite able to get my berserker to five. If I had prey, I I thought about it too last turn. I thought maybe I was gonna regret spending the prey like that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, okay. And I will burst Bard. Although he's off next turn. I'm not worried about dying from this spot, though. You can trade your Bard's life if you're afraid that you're going to die here. I don't think I'm afraid I'm going to die here. But there's another boar coming in, and with two of these guys coming, maybe. But now we're good. I've seen people say, like, why do I let characters die so often? In that position, if I whiff... Like, if those two bones spawn in... And I whiff on killing anything there somehow, like if I have a really bad turn of rolls, I could still lose the fight from there. 
so killing off the boar instead of saving bard is a better play uh if you want to be 100 percent sure you'll live but i was like 99 percent sure i would live that anyway so i didn't take it uh doomblade is pretty bad i think for me it's okay for rogue but it gets kind of messy towards the end of fights i'd rather take a random bone saw sure that's fine i don't mind that one it turns our priestess and it shifts our game plan kind of because now our priestess just kills things i know i said maybe don't lock the two but it's not actually the worst thing to roll because i can go burst uh four two and then realize the error so it's probably like one is burst two four not quite enough for a kill but that's good enough I think the first thing out from this team comp is Berserker for me. He's a little bit incongruent with team comps like Priestess, where you're trying to just sit there and live a long time, I think. Uh, because he's just, uh, he's uh, taking so much damage. That's his whole character. He trades his health for damage, which isn't great for us here. Good job, Rogue. Very good. Nice dodge. Here comes the boar. Yeah, in these like third turn curses, I, I wonder if maybe I should have taken Spellblade, basically. I thought about it too, I was very close to clicking on Spellblade there. But I went Berserker at the end and I kind of regret it. I think you're done, Bard. No, I can no I can't save him. It's, if he was doing the steel attack, I could save him with chill, but. I can maybe do... I could go for this. It's alright. Just a little tough, because now my Berserker's on 1 HP, so like, what's he gonna do on this turn? The answer appears to be he's going to do 1 damage cleave, which is good enough. But, you know. Definitely not where I saw this one going when I picked up third turn boar. I thought we were just gonna like stomp right through every fight, but man oh man, these third turn boars, they're really getting me. Ah, Warlock, good. Fucks up simplicity, but I don't care. Warlock Tiara is the play. Um, I don't have anything for Rogue. He's just gonna have to throw his one cantrips. It's fine. Nobody can hold simplicity here. That's all right. Uh, one poison isn't great. Hmm. A little bit scary. I'm not afraid of the thorns here, because I can else out of the petrifies. I think we lock two mana, because Warlock's going to need two, and then four anyway. So I don't really care too much. Okay, Bard. I mean, if you want to. Six, four, burst, burst. What if I just kill Wendigo turn one? How's that sound? That seems good. What if I just win right away? One usable dice remaining? Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the offer. <laughs> Reroll Bard? Uh, Yeah, sure. Warden? Cool. I think that's a good reroll because Bard's actually kind of not that great here with Berserker, so... I'm happy to just swap out. And we can go Ghost Shield for Berserker here. And now suddenly our whole life changes. Berserker's a strong survival character with Ghost Shield plus Warden. I think we have changed the landscape. We can roll. Maybe you dodge with Bard or with Rogue there. Unfortunate cantrip roll. But, uh, what can you do? Nobody's dying, so we're just chilling. If I could hit this sniper here somehow, I would actually have a line to win the fight this turn, because I could blaze through the ghost, but it's all good. We'll win out here. It really doesn't matter now. I think basically any roll, and we just blaze three... 
one, and they should have one. Whoa, that's right, it counts the boar, I forgot. I always forget that. When it calculates HP for if the enemies will run, it counts in the boar's HP. Even though he's not here yet. I always forget about that. And then I get fucking blindsided. Cyclops, Noel, Basilisk. Surgeon is good. I need someone that can play with Warlock here. It's definitely Surgeon. I also think Surgeon's okay for Bonesaw. Not ideal. Oh, also, didn't even think about it, but Simplicity Warden. Completely slipped my mind. You can go reply to your comment where you said, hey, what about Simplicity Warden? And you can say, oh, you got it, never mind. Go ahead, I won't, I won't be offended. Uh, okay. The big issue that this team comp is going to face is that we don't have cleanse. So some form of cleanse will be nice for this run. Something like maybe a solid, perhaps? Or just an item, I think, is also fine. But I don't know how much I really value cleanse in a run such as this. Probably not too highly, to be honest with you. Three damage, one damage cruel. Warlock, I'm pretty sure, just went six X's, which is a shame, I must say. But that's okay. You get it out of your system now, buddy. Seven? Eight? No way. Okay, he hit something. He hit the worst option, but he didn't miss. So I have to take it. Unfortunately, I think the poison just kills my rogue with no counterplay here. A shame, to be sure. Should have locked healing on Surgeon, I suppose. That one's on me. I was honestly, I was not looking. I was looking at something else there. He did it. He broke the curse. It's over. Um, burst, burst, burst. Yeah, sorry you died, Rogue. I was busy in shock. I like second chance, especially with this warlock. Basically lets me have one character with another mana side. Uh, probably it goes on Warden. And now Warden basically has another mana side with second chance. Or has a mana side, period. Come on, Warlock, not again. No way. Bro, this is the worst Warlock I've ever experienced. He's so bad for what? What happened to my guy? Oh, I didn't heal Rogue there. That's a mistake. Sorry, sorry. There we go. He woke up. Good roll. Man, this Warden? He cares. It's good that someone on this team cares. Yeah, it's sad, but... We do what we gotta do here. <laughs> oh, right, you can't burst demons. What we gotta do here is... Uh, blaze the demon. Sadly. Three, two... Hey, we're doing it! Warlock's hitting his sides! But I definitely feel like a sort of fear when a character goes dry that it's just gonna keep happening. It strikes me for sure. I go Wanderer here. You, he has two mana sides with Surgeon, which is nice. And Defy is pretty good. This can go on... probably goes on Surgeon. It's good to put defensive options on a character like Surgeon so that he's the last out and then you can operate, which is nice. I think I should roll Warden down here, although no, three is good because it lets me kill a Quartz nicely. That's actually priority one here is just clear out both Quartz. So we go three, three, yeah, so one, three, three, first, first, three. Fine with me. And then Surgeon takes vacation, but in a run against this boss, when you're fighting against Basalt, generally speaking, all you want to do is uh, kill the Quartz on turn one. And as soon as you do that, it's fine. It's interesting because it doesn't feel like it, but this is a slow play boss. Basalt doesn't force the issue. He doesn't make you kill him fast. 
He just sits here and he lives forever. And you have to do something about it. Two damage rule is four, which is eight, actually. I should lock this. Although, let me count. What do I have here? I have six, and then I have eight, which is 14. You're on 20. So if I hit a three damage cruel, I will kill. So I should actually not lock here. Yeah, okay. And it's fine, but if Surgeon hits his three cruel, the salt dies there. So you can roll because any, any side Surgeon rolls is better than the double heal. You either get mana, which saves Warlock and gives me value, or you get... Uh, that's mana, acceptable. You either get mana or you get lethal on Basalt. There we go. I finished my thought. Basalt's dead. I think you'll run. Good fight. Wax, seal, brimstone. Brimstone is pretty bad here. But you can have a six shield copycat, which could be technically six mana, which sounds really worthless. I'm gonna go Wax Seal. One of the more consistently good items in the game, I find. We can move Ghost Shield there, and then we can take Surgeon up to threes, I suppose. It's fine. Nothing too crazy, but... We're just, like, really tanky in this run, I think, is the main story. Need to lock here. You have to lock this one because we don't we want to kill both birds on this turn and we don't want our rogue sending them flying backwards. Because you'd much rather just do that. And then probably well, like four burst kill a, one of those. It's all good. You can, this fight is just I, you identify the target. The target is the two birds. I would be very shocked if I died to these wisps. However, I have lost on inevitable to the wisps. So they do deserve a little bit of respect. I believe. It's like I killed inevitable on turn two and then all of the wisps had summoned bones while I was fighting inevitable and then I died. So you got to give them respect if they're summoning a lot of bones, but they aren't here. They are just, uh, chilling. Well, not really chilling, they're dying, but they're chilling. Dabalist. Ooh, I'm in. I mean, <laughs> you think I'm gonna pick fucking Prince here? Hell no. Dabalist and we have Simplicity? Oh yeah. And Dabalist can hold second chance if my Gray doesn't want it. Probably the perfect hit for me. Because we're just playing around our mana game here. This is Warlock's run to carry. The Bard Replaceable was also very good. Also, haha. Replacing Bard was very good, I think, overall. This Warden has been much better, and he's the last one out. So, uh, one of the times that reroll was very good. I think everyone was better, though. Even Garden Guardian I would have been happy with there. Even Gardening, my favorite character. You guys ever play Gardening in this game? So that, actually, gardening is just Primrose. Oh, Dumbbell with Simplicity on Dabalist. We have the Giga Dabalist. Oh, fuck, that's three dragon eggs. I mean, look, if I lose to three dragon eggs, such is life. Maybe I should let one hatch. <laughs> okay, you know, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I don't let one hatch. Uh, interesting that my team comp is all mana. And I keep fighting these fucking demons. Alright. Dragon Egg is definitely... Uh, you know, if you gave me a, like 30 runs of fighting Dragon Egg, I bet in like... Oh shit, it hatched. What the fuck? I thought I stopped this. Uh, Stalwart cleanses, but he doesn't cleanse enough in the dragon. I think that if something goes wrong, you just Valkyrie through it here. I, I actually think that it's super hard to lose from this spot because we have such insane value. Yeah. It's like maybe Warlock misses, Dabalist misses, Surgeon misses mana, and Dragon rolls uh, triple poison, and then maybe I lose. 
it's good to keep your eyes peeled for the defeat conditions, but I would be surprised. I'll put it like that. I think this dragon is a goner. Although, Warlock, he could have the worst day ever. I don't even need him to do well. I have the god. Yeah, take notes, buddy, on how to roll your fucking sides. How about it? Oh, good run. Uh, third turn boar, not too bad, but the Giga Dabalist? Holy. What a character. Uh, just a strong team across the board. No complaints. I think that enough of the tier 3s are good that you will probably be losing your games off of tier 2s in my experience so far, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.